You know you are present. You know you are aware. These facts are already known to you. They are beyond doubt. This is self-knowledge. Self-knowledge is not something to be gained or attained or sought for. All of that kind of knowledge is acquired. It can only be known to some level of certainty, but it is never beyond doubt. These qualities of being present and aware are your qualities. They are your true and undeniable qualities. No proof is required from your own standpoint. That is why you can be called presence, awareness. Because you clearly are this present awareness. There's nothing spiritual about saying it this way. It's just trying to stick to the facts, to be precise, to point out what you really are in all of this. The spiritual quest, this inner search, should not take decades. It should be over before it even begins. Because what is being pointed out is so clearly and obviously you. It is not something else or someone else that is aware and listening to this. It is you. Well then, what is all the fuss about? The fuss is about this idea that this awareness is only a quality possessed by things, by individuals. What are these individuals if you are awareness itself? Ask one of these supposed individuals who they are, and what comes out is just utter nonsense. A name, a profession, the location of where this body was born, a race, a religion. None of this is who you are. None of that is present are aware. And you already know that whatever it is that you are, that is what is present and aware. It is only the mind that keeps giving credence to the knowledge it has acquired, to the concepts it has built. And mind here simply refers to this recurring thought process, the problem-solving process, the planning process, the ruminating process. All of these refer to some concept of you as a thing that happens to be aware. This goes against the fact that you aren't really a thing that is aware, but you are this presence, awareness. What else can be called you? The mind has no shortage of 
ideas around this. The body, the brain, some soul, a self. They're all fuzzy concepts. What constitutes a body if everything keeps changing in it? What part of the brain is sentient if it's all made up of insentient matter? And what are the soul and the self other than a belief in individuality attached to the reality of you? They are taking what is real, this present awareness, and attaching to it the idea that what is real is somehow owned by an imaginary entity, a limited self-entity, an individual, who when you ask, who are you, has no reply can only ramble on about unrelated matters. When the mind acknowledges that you are not the body, nor anything inside this body, not a self, not a soul, that is the threshold. When all that is left, that can be you, is this present awareness. Which is true. That is what you are. The process of negation can only go so far. You should acknowledge and affirm what is real. Your true qualities you know you are present. You know you are aware. And you cannot deny your own reality. The reality of this presence awareness. The mind may keep wrangling with the idea a bit longer. Don't turn to it for its opinion. It might bring up things you still care about, like the, the idea of death. You will question states of being unconscious. Those are just the states where the mind is absent. You remain present and aware, for when the mind stirs, and there's a dream, or there's a waking up, or there's a birth. You are there to witness it. Without the presence of awareness, there can be no experience, no first experience, or any subsequent experience. But if this presence awareness is what spirituality is all about. Why is there such a big fuss? Why the talk of bliss and ananda and nirvana and heaven? It is because when the mind is focused on the false idea of you, it keeps fretting and fussing, and panicking, and raging, and grieving over its idea of you. That is hell, samsara. In the absence of wrong ideas and identifications, there are no real problems. There is peace and contentment. And that is why your full name is Presence Awareness.
peace or being consciousness, bliss. You do not need to seek peace when you are the peace. It is only the seeking, whether spiritual or material, that needs to wind down. Simply recede and notice your own true qualities. You, present and aware. 